let me just uh, uh, share with you some of the things that uh, we've been working on that are directly relevant to uh, this community. I, the reason I was delayed getting here, actually, uh, in the city of Alexandria, we were uh, taking the final step in shutting down the coal-fired power plant on the Alexandria waterfront. That's the single worst stationary source of pollution in the entire Washington area. And uh, there's not a lot that Arlington can do about it since it's in the city of Alexandria. So you haven't been directly engaged in shutting it down, but you should be aware you've been breathing in that pollution. Can I ask who you're with? That, uh, Me? The yeah, I'm with the Oak Street Tribune. It's a Roslyn area oh, online news oh, source. Good. Okay, I just, uh, I'm just curious to know. Yeah, sure. You've been sure featured in it last year. Right. So, uh, good, I'll make sure that I speak up loudly to the so you, uh, but you've been breathing it in. It's two and a half times the allowable limit uh, on most of the uh, uh, toxic elements that come from it, uh, nitrogen oxide, sulfur dioxide, uh, particulate matter. 72 pounds of mercury per year. One seventh of a teaspoon of mercury can poison an entire lake. So that's how dangerous this thing was. And we've been working on it for a long time. and. Uh, but since we have been so heavily involved, uh, it was appropriate that we be there. Uh, on uh, more direct uh, issues, one of the things that you've been asking about the Civic Association is safety uh, along the, um, particularly crossing there at the Memorial Drive. Those of you who bike and uh, walk and jog, uh, there have been a number of accidents, and so I did get, uh, didn't require any earmark or anything, but we did get the National Park Service and, and uh, the uh, Memorial Cemetery folks uh, to get together. We put the rumble strips, we've, we've re-signed it, uh, we put uh, stripes, and it's a lot safer now uh, as a result. Uh, the, uh, we're working on something, uh, Stan, that you brought, so I assume it's not just a personal thing of yours, but we're working on uh, at Marshall Drive and uh, Route 110. Uh, that's primarily with the Virginia Department of Transportation, but we're working on that as well. We've spent a good deal of time in terms of National Airport and noise, and uh, we've gotten some uh, success on that. It's, it's not all the success that I would like, but they know that we've been pressuring them, and, and uh, I, I, I'm pretty confident that things are a little better because of uh, our involvement. Uh, there are a number of national issues. There are so many that I'd rather put those aside and respond to them when you ask about them, uh, but uh, I'm glad to have that opportunity. And with that, I'll just conclude, listen to the other guests, and then await your questions. Thank you. I don't have, well, I don't have any problem with what was said. Um, I'd love to think that we could work things out in a pragmatic manner, in a nonpartisan way. That's the way that, uh, for most of the time I've been in the Congress, we've been able to work together. I've worked with uh, uh, Tom Davis, Frank Wolf, John Warner very closely. I continue to work with Frank on Metro, uh, but I miss John and Tom and and uh, I miss the kind of uh, bipartisan, uh, pragmatic environment that we used to have, where we were able to construct the Wilson Bridge and the Springfield Mixing Bowl and, and transform the Lorton uh, Prison to a nice residential and recreational area and, and dozens of other things. Uh, but that, unfortunately, that uh, uh, partisan atmosphere uh, that, that Mr. Howell talks about uh, uh, it is present now. I hope that uh, it won't continue. And many of the nice things that uh, Ms. Murphy has suggested, I support too, particularly uh, public transit and rail. Uh, when I ran for Alexandria City Council back in 1979, I was the, uh, yeah, before most of these folks were born, but uh, I had been the officer of more than a dozen different voluntary organizations from my civic association to chairing the United Way to, and it's such a long list, I won't bore you with it, uh, but I was very much involved in the community uh, and had uh, taken on st uh, positions of leadership. And, and then um, uh, when I was elected mayor, I ran as an independent. I had three Democrats and three Republicans, and uh, I think if you see what happened during 
in Alexandria during that period of time we were pretty successful. When I entered the Congress, uh, I shortly started what was called the New Democrat Coalition to work with uh, Bill Clinton on the balanced budget amendment that uh, we got a surplus for four years, we, uh, uh, we promoted trade, we did any number of things. Uh, and many of them on a bipartisan basis. I worked very closely with the, the President Clinton. He used to call me at night at, uh, on occasion but uh, to go over things. Uh, but I am a Democrat because I do believe we need to invest in this country. This is not the time uh, to, uh, to back down from our challenges. I think we ought to be investing more in education, particularly early childhood education. I think we ought to be putting more into public transit. Uh, I, I think we ought to be putting more into research and innovation. I put I spent a substantial amount of my time trying uh, on this uh, metro corridor so that it be a national center for research and innovation, the National Science Foundation, DARPA, and Office of Naval Research, etc. Uh, but we also spend a lot of time simply responding to citizens who have good ideas and who have complaints. And that's why I'm continuing to run because uh, I'm able to make a difference on many of those issues uh, to improve your quality of life and, and to support the things that are important to you. I appreciate the opportunity to spend time with you tonight. Thank you.